Hi everyone, today I'm going to try in some American candy. I've barely tried any American stuff. I have tried a few, but everything in this haul I've never tried. Um, I have 12 products, a mixture of sweets, drinks, savoury and chocolate. All in this big box here. Um, I have actually done a French trying video before with my friend Chloe. And that has actually like got so many views. It's got over a thousand, which is crazy. Um, so I will link that one down below if you want to see that. And yeah, I will start with my first product. The first thing is Pop-Tarts, the cookies and cream flavour. I tried the chocolate ones before and I didn't like them. But I'm hoping I'm going to like these because they are Oreo. So I'm going to go microwave these. Um, because I'm pretty sure you can't eat them raw. So I've microwaved them. It says for three seconds but I did it for five because what can two seconds difference mean they look really nice they smell really nice they smell like Nutella actually let's try them mmm they're a bit dry I don't get the okay I kind of get the cookies and cream flavour it's a very deep rich chocolate like an Oreo is. And you can't really taste the cream filling. You can, because the chocolate's so overpowering. I don't see why so many people love them. Like, so many people love Pop-Tarts. And I really want to, but I just, I don't think I can. Um, I'm going to give all of them a rating out of 10. I'd give them a 6. Um, I don't really, they're meant to be breakfast foods as well. And that really is not breakfast. Um, I like it, but... I just can't taste the icing or the filling. I can only actually taste the actual, whatever this thing is, the biscuit or cake or whatever it's meant to be, the bread. And to wash that down, I'm going to go in with the drink. So first of all, I've got pink lemonade Snapple. This is the only flavour Tesco had of it. Um, I'm not a massive, massive fan of pink lemonade because I don't like fizzy drinks. But this was another fizzer. Um, I've got a straw, so let's try it. Right, it's not fizzer. It's alright. Um, I don't really know what the difference between pink lemonade and lemonade is, but it does just taste like pure lemon juice to me. It's alright, but um, it's not the best flavour. But I'll give it a 7 because I liked it more than the Pop-Tarts because um, it's not fizzy and um, I feel like it could be nicer in other flavours, but I suppose this wasn't probably the best flavour for me to try because... I don't really like lemonade anyway. Now we're going to go in with the second drink. And this is Arizona Blueberry White Tea. So many people I know absolutely love Arizona tea. So I'm going to try it. I'm guessing it's just going to be like Lipton. Um, because I do like iced tea. Hopefully you'll like this. And I kind of think it might be a bit like the Blueberry J2O. Kind of that flavour. Um, if I can open it. it. Smells quite nice actually. Okay. Um, and this will be actually not light, but once it goes down, I'm a bit like, I don't know, it's nicer than Snapple, I'll give you that, um, actually I do quite like, I think it's just because it definitely is blueberry, it is such a strong blueberry taste, um, but it just leaves a little bit of a weird aftertaste in your mouth. But I probably would buy this again, yeah. So, I think I've started quite high in the uh, put it rating. So, if I gave the Snapple a 7, i have probably got to give this an 8. So, let's hope everything's going to be 9 or a 10. Now, we're going to go in with some chocolate. So, first of all, I've got a Baby Roof. And it is from Nestle. Um, or Nestle, how do you say that? Nestle, Nestle. Is it the same thing? I don't know. Um, it's a first one with peanuts, rich caramel and chewy new bar. I don't really smell the peanut bar. Yeah, I like that. Definitely heavily pre peanut butter over the other flavours. I can't taste the other flavours. Um, I will give that one a 9 then. Um, mmm, yes. Chewy. I mean, I can't taste the nougat and the caramel in it. I don't know if you can just taste the peanut butter. But if you're a massive peanut butter fan, you definitely like this. So I was about talking with my mouth open. It's very chewy. So we will stick with the peanut butter theme and I'm going to go for Reese's Sticks. I know you can widely get these in England and I have tried the peanut butter cups and I like them. But I've never tried the sticks so, and they were the cheapest so. But I'll try these. Mmm. 
Mmm, I like them. Oh, that is strong peanut butter. It's like chocolate on the outside, then you got wafers, and then you got peanut butter. I'm gonna give that a nine because I really like them, and they're a lot easier to eat than the baby roof. Um. Yeah, so now we're gonna go back to Nestle product, and that is the Butterfinger. Oh, and that says crisp, crispity, crunchy peanut buttery. I didn't know this was gonna be peanut buttery. I also probably would have picked a different chocolate bar. So the third peanut butter in a row. Americans obviously love their peanut butter, don't they? Um, let's see if this tastes any different to the rest. I honestly did not know this was peanut butter. Like the same brand who have two heavily based peanut butter things. That that's obviously means they really like their peanut butter. Like anyway, I'm sure I like it. Mmm, that's really different actually. Um. So you've got chocolate on the outside, then you've got like a biscuit at the top. It kind of looks like kind of, yeah, literally crispy peanut butter. Again, I'm going to have to give this a 9. Because I feel like I can't give anything a 10 unless I'm absolutely full in love with it. Like, I can't stop eating it. Um, but I do prefer it to the other two products. And if you are a big peanut butter fan, or out of all them three, I'll definitely go for this one. Why did I start off my rating so high? I feel like I should have given these pot tarts like a 2 now because... These chocolate bars I just tasted are so 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 nice and they are so much better than these pop tarts. Then I'm going to go with the final chocolate bar which is a classic Hershey's Creamy Milk Chocolate. I've tried the Hershey's Kisses before like probably a few years ago and I hated them. Um, but I thought you know what we will try the original bar. We will see. But I do love that cookies and cream bar. I Again I tried that years ago but I loved it so let's see if I like this. And I like, I like how it's printed. Little Hershey's logo looking on it. I don't know. I'm a bit split with this. It tastes like them really cheap advent calendar chocolates. I like, don't know where you can get like um, characters on it and stuff like the Pepper Pig ones and the Power Ranger ones and you know all them. I do like it because I love cheap advent calendars. Um, I actually really like that. I mean, if you don't like the feeling of cheap chocolate, I don't want to be offending any Americans here, but that's what it tastes like to me, like cheap rich chocolate. Um, I would go for it, um, because yeah, I actually really like that. So again, I'm going to give that a 9. I'm going to go in with such a classic, which is Twinkies. By the looks of it, I honestly don't see why there's a massive rave on them and why they're so expensive. £2 for two, like, that's an absolute rip-off. Um, don't look anything special to me. I think literally what it is... Oh, golden sponge cake with a creamy filling. So don't see what can be so exciting about this, but we will try and see what the hype is. It's quite nice actually. Mmm, it is good. This tastes really artificial though. It's only thing like I would much prefer like a ready-made handmade cake from Britain. Um not gonna lie. What's the sugar in it? Ooh, 33 grams just in this little thing. That's not something I want to be hearing. And I feel like the I can't actually taste the cream, like the cream to cake ratio isn't very good. Um But it's alright. I won't pay a pound for it. But I'm probably gonna give rate that an eight. Now we're gonna go in with the sweets, which is obviously what Americans call candy. And I've got the classic spread vines. I was hoping to pick up some Twizzlers, but Tesla didn't sell them. So I went with these instead. By the looks of them, I'm pretty sure they're quite similar. Um I could get that one, but I feel like that's what they look like. Are these licorice? Is that... Yeah. Artificial flavoured red licorice twist candy. Okay, maybe I won't like these because I don't like licorice. They're all right. Again, so artificial when you eat them, like, you can just taste the sugar bursting out. It tastes quite plasticky. It doesn't taste like pure licorice to me, though, so... It's all right on that front. And the flavours are right, but I feel like it's just quite... Rubbery and dry. I'll probably give that... A seven, to be honest. Next, another very classic American thing is Jolly Ranchers. Can I just say this box is so mini? Um, and it's the choose version, so I'm pretty sure there's loads of different versions and original flavours. Let's give a few of the flavours a go. Again, if I can open this. Okay, so the flavours are green apple, watermelon, cherry, and blue raspberry. I think I'm going to go for a cherry. Um... You know, these probably are kind of going to be like Marwams that I think they look like anyway. Oh my god, look how fluorescent that is! Like, compared to a star, like a strawberry starburst, it's like really light pink and this is bright red. 
I get no sugar. I do quite like that actually. Well, it's really nice. So I'm going to try one of the watermelon flavours. Oh my god, that's like bright coral. Yeah, that is good. Oh my god, it tastes like fresh watermelon. But I'm going to give them a 9 because even though they're really, really nice and I probably would buy them again if, if they weren't this expensive. They, I know they're called chews, but they're so, so, so chewy. And I'm not a big fan of sweets. They take me absolutely ages to chew. Um, but I definitely like to try the hard candy version of them. Um, and yeah, they were really nice. So the final sweets is icebreaker sours. So many YouTubers say these are their favourite American thing ever. So I was like, I have to try it because I love watermelon. I'm just reading the pack as well. It also says green apple, tangerine is also in there. Um, I don't know what these are. Are these chewing gum or were they like hard candy? But oh, okay, they're hard. Okay, so what's the flavours? They've got different colours on. I don't know if you can see that, like little dots. Oh, one just fell. I will get that in a minute. Um, so what flavour do you think is the watermelon? I'm guessing the one with the green and pink dots. Let's see how sour they are. Oh my god, they're so nice, and they're not that sour. Oh my god, they're really nice. I can now see why so many people love these. I'm gonna give these a ten. And Stan, I would buy these again, and I thought they were really amazing price, one pound sixty, and you get so much in there that <laughs> it's very hard to open. Like that is loads, and it would be so easy to slip in your pocket. Honestly, these are so nice. If you've got to try anything out of this, try these. And the final thing that I left to last because I feel like they're going to stink my room out and probably stink my mouth out as well. It's Cheetos, flaming Hot. I had to search everywhere for Tesco's for these because these are actually in the crisp aisle because I feel like they've become so regular. It was a pound for eight packs, so it was a little bit deceiving because the packs are so mini. Like, I don't know if they look that mini to you, but they are very mini packs. But I've heard these are bright red, so let's see. I was going to get the normal flavour, but then I know there was that they meant to be like what's it and um, obviously I've tried what's it before. Oh no, okay. These aren't bright red, so where did I get that from? Maybe it's an American thing. Or maybe I'm thinking of another crisp, I don't know. But God, it smells... It smells like chilli, actually it smells like um, yeah the red monster munch, like the chilli monster munch. Let's try these, hopefully I like these. They're good. Got them quite a bit of a kick to them as well. I really like them. But god are they spicy on your tongue. They haven't really got that much of a spicy taste. But it definitely gets it on your tongue. This is my other favourite item. So my two favourite items are the last two I've tried. Let's see what the um, sugar is in this. Oh, it's not any sugar. Calories? No. Oh no, I was looking at the wrong. I thought it said 534, but no, that's 100 grams. For this mini pack, it's 70 calories, which that's really good actually. Especially for American food. Just not being offensive, but typically Americans have more sugary food than British. Alright. Definitely buy. These are getting 10 as well. So, in that video, as you can probably tell, my least favourite two products, products, food items, whatever, are the Pop Tarts and the Snapple, which is all the way over there because I don't want to drop it because it's a glass bowl. And probably the red vines, even though I gave them a seven, I'm gonna actually lower it to a six because I don't know. I mean, maybe if you were a massive fan of Lick, you should like these, but um, I will still eat all the food, like it's all still eatable. None of it was totally disgusting, but if you were to buy anything, honestly, I urge you to buy these. And can I also say that's a pound, like that is actually quite good. And these are probably two of the best value products. Um, and I love them in the most. So there is my American candy video. If you like this video and would like to see more nationalities, suggest them below, but also probably ones that are easy for me to access. Obviously, because I live in the UK and it's not easy for me to get foods all around the world at a good price because obviously I don't have tons of cash like bigger YouTubers do. So remember to like and subscribe and the comment today can be what is your favourite American food or if you are American or another nationality, what is your favourite British food? Because I'd love to know below because... I'm all up for a discussion about food because I love food. Who doesn't? Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.